For today's project, you'll need your colored pencils and a regular pencil and a white sheet of paper. Hi class, it's Mrs. Latinsky. I'm ready for winter. How about you? I have got my winter hat on and I've got my mittens and that's great because today's project is going to be some mittens where we give them an elaborate pattern just like my hat. We're going to be talking about the element of art texture and we're also going to be talking about the principle of design pattern. And just like my hat and my mittens have a texture to them, you can feel them, you can see it. They also have a pattern on my hat. We're going to be creating some wintry mittens that have both a pattern and some implied texture. The artist we're talking about today is Gustav Klimt. He was from Austria and he lived in the 1800s to the early 1900s. His art was part of the Art Nouveau movement and he used really beautiful and elaborate patterns in his artwork. Here's Grace's example of our project today. She's got lots of different patterns going on inside of her mittens with different lines and colors. She also took the cord that connects the mittens and she made a heart. I thought that was adorable. And can you see that round shape right there? That is a snowball. These mittens are in the foreground and the snowball is in the background. Looks like the mittens are about ready to grab that snowball. Lizzie put some hearts between her mittens and she also put her name in cursive down below. For my example, I like that idea of the cursive. I did cursive, the word love on the bottom and a heart with a pattern in the top. I chose a little bit more cool colors on this one and warm colors on this one. It's not a matching set, but that's okay too. You can see all the different patterns I have going on in each one. And you can also see how there's kind of an implied texture here. This sort of looks like fish scales. The name of this painting is Women in Gold. Gustav Klimt created this artwork by the end of 1907. It's in the Art Nouveau style. You can see it is very shimmery gold and it has lots of elaborate patterns in here. You can see there's a pattern in her dress and pattern going on right behind her as well. Circles here. These are like, these almost look like eye shapes. Isn't that interesting? Uh, we have some squares mixed in with circles and triangles in here and definitely some square shapes here. He uses colors and shapes and creates them in a repeating pattern. Her fabric has a different kind of texture here is here. You can see it's got lines that go this direction, which shows that it might be a little bit smoother cascading down this way, but this way it looks a little rougher and lumpier and the textures an implied texture, one that it looks like it has some sort of rough or smooth texture, but we don't really know because we don't get to feel it because it's hanging on a wall. Draw a basic mitten shape. It's not very complicated, just a curve and a little thumb place. Try to keep them about the same size. A really easy way to draw a mitten is to trace your own hand. You Stick down one hand and go around your thumb, but be careful when you go around your fingers that you don't go around each individual finger. Make that big one mitten lump and then draw a little bottom to it. And then it's a little tricky when you're going around the hand that you don't normally draw with. Just switch your pencil to another hand and see what you can do. Try your best. You can do it. I'm going to write the word snow in cursive because it doesn't have any T's or I's and it's a little easier to do. But you can write any word that's meaningful to you, maybe your name. Or you could do a shape or leave it plain. You have a lot of choices for what to put in the top part of this picture. I'm going to do a snowflake. Snowflakes usually are six sides, so I draw an X, and then I draw a line through that X, and suddenly you have six sides, and then create a pattern that repeats on each of those little sides. Connect them if you want to, but just try to make every little side the same because snowflakes have radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is when a shape has mirror images all throughout it. So if you cut it one way, it'll be the same as another side, but if you cut it in another direction, it'll also be the same. So each of those little sections of the snowflake should be identical. You get to choose how you want to divide up these mittens into different chunks. 
On the left side, I think I'm going to do pretty straightforward lines. Some are going to be thicker than the other. So just different separate, separate areas that we get to fill with designs and patterns. Maybe some angled, some straight. It's up to you. You can mix it up. But on the other mitten, I'm going to go a little wild and create diagonals and squiggly lines. And the goal is to create different segments to these mittens. And it's up to you how they look. They can be all kinds of shapes, but divide them up somehow. Outline the outside of the mittens and the sections of the mittens with a dark pencil, something like dark blue or black that'll show those sections really clearly. Okay, for the word below, I'm assuming this is going to be kind of a thicker piece of yarn and I want to give it more texture. So I'm going to kind of, I don't know, make it a thicker line kind of a fuzzier line. So it's going to give it like that texture of a, of a nice piece of yarn. It's going to get a little more tricky when I get down to the letters, but we'll see. I don't want to make it too thick because you can't read it. And see how I'm not drawing a perfectly straight line. It's kind of a jagged line because that reminds me more of yarn, kind of thicker, rougher. And I think it'll give the look of yarn more. So it seems like they're being connected by these pieces of yarn. Below here, I'd want to do something with a texture. Sometimes when you have a cuff of a mitten, there is these, there are these lines like this, showing that the direction of the elastic -y fabric, I should say, kind of goes like that. So I want to give a sense of these cuffs by giving them a vertical line and kind of showing that that texture, which is an implied texture. It's not an actual texture because remember, this is just a flat piece of paper. If you rub your finger across it, it's not going to feel like fabric. It's going to feel like paper, but we want to make it look like it has the feel of fabric. When you do a pattern, just whatever you do, repeat it many times within. I, you could make it look more like a fabric weave, a texture if you want. Now it would be a, a, like a knitted, you could make it look like it's knitted and that would be more like, like little checks or something like that maybe. So that reminds me more of like a knitted kind of texture pattern. But you can also do something fun like um, swirls, round and round multiple swirls. It's an entirely different kind of pattern, but that reminds me more of what Klimt is doing, where it's more of an implied pattern or an implied texture through kind of wild patterns that fill up the space. Whenever you do, just repeat it throughout over and over again, and that creates a pattern. You can do patterns of all kinds of shapes repeated. You could do patterns of lines that are repeated. For each section, create a different pattern. Use your imagination, use different shapes, and repeat them throughout. If you run out of ideas, just pick a letter. In this case, I'm doing a Z. And repeat it over and over again, and you have a pattern might want to choose a color scheme like the cool colors to have one glove have the same color scheme or you can use different color schemes for each glove maybe one warm colored glove and one cool colored glove maybe you have a few favorite colors you want to stick to it's up to you what colors you use and just try to vary it and make each section uh, next to each other a little different color to show that they're a different pattern. Here's the finished project. Thanks for doing art with me today. I hope you enjoyed creating wintery mittens with pattern and implied texture. I hope I get a chance to see the art that you created.